What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 15 of the Giro d'Italia here on PCM 2020 and we are heading to Pian Travallo today in a massive day in the GC following on from the individual time trial. Getting underway then and you can see we have a new Maglia Rosa. However, Almeida on a very nice day now in the white jersey. I think it would be a good idea to put a few guys in the breakaway today. So right now we're in a pretty nice situation because you can see we have three riders in the breakaway. Ballerini, Seri and Fausto Masnada as well. Masnada can just sit on Peter Seri's wheel at the moment and hopefully this breakaway does go up the road as more riders trying to bridge. So we do end up with 22 riders in today's breakaway. We have three of them as well. That is perfect for us. You can see some of the other riders here. We have De Ghent, Zacharin, Jai Hindley, Visconti, so a very strong breakaway, probably the strongest at this race yet. So we currently have a very strong rhythm in this breakaway as guys now going for that KOM. I'm going to set a steady tempo with Fausto Masnada. Not too worried about these points at these uh, at this first climb right here. But you know what? We may as well try and attack right now if that's at all possible whilst keeping Seri in this group. Can Fausto Masnada take any of these points ahead? of Pedrero and the like. I think we'll get a few, not too many though, for Masnada, up to 90 points, okay. That's not too bad right there. And we do keep Ballerini over the top as well. That is pretty important for this intermediate sprint. So we're now coming into this intermediate sprint. I'm going to try and take these points with Davide Ballerini. We've left it a little late, but we just about get them right there. And that is perfect for us. 119 points for him now in the Chiclamino jersey. He can do some work now in this group with six minutes on the peloton. But right now we have a super hard tempo back in the peloton. And this is pretty difficult because Kaiser about to go out the back. And I'm going to have to use Knox right now to protect Zhao Almeida. So I might drop back to Vide Ballerini at this stage. So at this point, Ballerini is going to wait up for the peloton whilst Masnada is struggling just to stay in this group on Seri's wheel. We need to move up if we want any mountain points here and that is looking increasingly difficult with Seri pretty much done as well to the top of this climb but Masnada just going to try and go at 90 and we sweep to the right hand side and we can try and attack away from this group if we can. Uh, only one kilometer left we have Zacharin up the rows but I'll be happy with second although we're struggling for energy a lot right here. I think we're going to get overtaken by a couple guys Masnada fighting to the line and I think we'll get fourth place right there not best but again, picking up a couple points. And right now, Ballerini has waited up for Almeida. Perfect for him. Knox can again sit on Almeida's wheel. We have just 57 riders in the peloton. So the current situation, we have 14 riders chasing back on to the group of five at the front. Hagen doing the work for Lotto Sudal. And maybe these are the five strongest riders in that early breakaway judging by that climb right there. But before this climb, it seems that Hagen and this group unable to bridge to that group of five. Sari is just sat in the wheels. That is fine for him. He can protect Masnada if he gets there. If not, he will be available to drop back to help Zhao Almeida, who now needs to go up to maybe 80 with a very fast tempo at the front. So it's a shame for us, but Masnada and Sari, of course, aren't really on good days. We have 4K to the top of this climb. I don't think either of these guys will stay in this group, at least Seri. I'm pretty sure we'll have to drop back to the peloton. In fact, right now, I'll put Seri to maybe 60. Um, you know what, actually, we'll try and stay in this group. I think it'll be more helpful to have Seri ahead before entering that final climb. And we'll hope that Ballerini can get over with Almeida. That is, of course, highly unlikely, though. And so we're now seeing attacks at the front of the race. We have Cataldo, who has been dropped. Masnada's going to tempo himself at 84. Going to try and stay here with Seri if possible. But again, he's probably going to get dropped right here as Ballerini starting to struggle as well. Hinley is done. Uh, Pedrero and Zacharin looking pretty good as Haig and Galapan have joined us up the roads. And Masnada is going to struggle to pick up any points at this KOM, sadly, for him. Let's see if we can. I think we're fifth or, uh, fifth or sixth. Across the line, we get two points, 96 points for him. So Giulio Giacone actually just fell from the peloton, but Ballerini, what a ride this is. He's just clinging on to this group right here, and I think he will be available to help out Zhao Almeida. Oh, but a massive moment in the race. Fulsang and Kreuzvik both 
fall from the peloton on this descent. They both do continue, but both of those guys are going to be waited on by their teammates. But my oh my, that is a absolutely massive moment in this Giro. Fulsang and Kreuzvik, so unlucky here. So this is a brutal stage of the Giro, but we have these seven riders at the front of the race. A minute back to this group of eight with Seri just sat in the wheels. He can just sit there, that is fine. We have a few riders about to be caught by the Haas chasing Peloton, the likes of Sagan pacing Haas, and this is so unlucky for poor Fulsang and of course uh, Kreuzvik as well in this group behind, looking unlikely that they're gonna get back on here. So we come onto the final climb. You can see Masnada is pretty much now sitting up. I don't think we're going to take the stage. It's between these five guys right here, or even the Peloton. Seri can go at maybe 55 whilst trying to wait for the GC group, which is now quickly chasing Peter Seri. Only three minutes down on the front of the race and Fulsang and Kreuzvik still some way down and they're having to pace as well. This is brutal for them. So Ballerini is done at the perfect time. Seri can now take over. What a ride by Davide Ballerini today. He is now, of course, done. Almeida can go to 78, try and stay to the front of this group, and Masnada is just a minute up the roads. He can maybe go to 68, that is fine, and the guys at the head of the race, some way clear now. And now the whole Ineos team are done, basically, because they were all pacing to try and keep Fusang and Kreuzvik behind. We have 35 riders at the front of the race. Masnada again, has been caught at the perfect time as Seri is done for the day. Nox still sat on the wheel, so we have three riders at the front of the race here. Comrades and Micah looking to be aggressive. And here we go, Simon Yates on the attack here at the Giro. He's some way down in the GC. Bilbao is to Pozzo, Kanga as well. These guys are some way down, so I don't mind them going clear, to be honest, with Almeida. It's up to Ineos to Tempo if they want to bring those guys in. We're just trying to stay here as Masnada and Knox looking pretty tired at this stage, but Almeida on this good day looking very strong. And look at this, Micah and Thomas are actually pacing themselves here because they have no teammates left with Bilbao and Yates up the roads. Masnada is almost done, but we still have Knox to help out Almeida very briefly. And I think we could see the GC guys take the stage today as Vincenzo Nibali upping the tempo for Trek Segafredo. We need to make sure we're staying in a good position as Micah now on the attack as well as Masnada is done for the day. We need uh, Knox to come through if he can and Micah has bridged away. Yates has been caught but Rafael Micah looking to be very aggressive in this group of just 13 riders now with Nibley and Thomas working. But what is going on here? Wilco Kelderman is done. He has been dropped from this group. How has that happened? We have Kelderman done already. We need to go back to the front though as we have some attacks from the GC group. Nibali has gone clear. Almeida's going to stay here for now. 5k to go. We're in a group with these guys right here. McNulty looking very, very good today with Geraint Thomas and Simon Yates as well. Out the back, we have Hinley as well as Samitier right there. But Almeida standing to hopefully gain time in the GC as Geraint Thomas is done. And here we go. Zhao Almeida on the attack here at the Giro. Can we tempo at 78? Bridging away from this group, including McNulty and Geraint Thomas. We have Micah and Nibali some way up the roads. 50 seconds. Can we make that up and challenge for the stage? But Geraint Thomas is in difficulties. We have a minute to make up on Geraint Thomas. Can we do that? Nibali as well, going for the Maglia Rosa here. What a stage. So 2k to go, Almeida is going to bridge to Rafael, Micah, hopefully Nibali as well. Uh, the, the steepness of the climb is leveling off somewhat as Micah trying to block off Almeida. I think we're just about going to catch Vincenzo Nibali. I'm going to sit on the Italian's wheel. We're gonna sit on his wheel to the line right here with Almeida, Nibali attacking for the stage. Can Almeida take it? I don't think so today. Vincenzo Nibali wins the stage ahead of Micah. Almeida in third. And I think Nibali is actually going to take the Maglia Rosa. McNulty, what a day for him. Good day for Yates. And a bad day for Garrett Thomas in pink. He loses a heap of time today. And where is Paul Fulsang and Stephen Kreuzvik? Here is Fulsang. He's going to lose over three minutes. So unlucky for the Dane with Steven Kreuzvik much further back. But the surprise of the day for me, Wilco Kelderman, second in GC to this point, loses almost six minutes. What a ride by Nibley today, but what a ride as well by Joao Almeida. And you can see 
Nibali into pink, but just eight seconds ahead of Almeida with Thomas down to third. We have had some giant gaps in the GC today with Nibali, Micah, and Joao Almeida, the main winners, and the losers, Garrett Thomas, Fulsang, as well as Kreuzvik, and even further down, we have Wilco Kelderman on a terrible day. Terrible day for Kelderman. You can see him right here, 25th overall, six minutes down, and he is completely out of the GC battle, really, after looking so, so good. And so Thomas, Almeida, and Nibali now look like the front three with Micah as well, looking strong today. You can see the other competitions right here. So we have a big day on stage 16 of this Giro as well, some big climbs, plenty of hills on that final circuit as well, and 219 kilometers. But if you enjoyed today, drop a like on the video as always, drop a sub to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one.